With today's modern tree fruit architecture, we can't rely on a spindly tree with very little root structure to support a trellis. So you need some engineering analysis. This is Mark Decline from Decline Machine Co. Mark, what's some of the first things you need to do when you look at a trellis for thousands of these trees? Sure. What you want to do with trellis is look at balancing your above ground forces with your below ground forces through the member that you pick. Now it's important to say that there is no wrong trellis. A trellis can be designed with many different materials. It just has to fit together and be designed correctly. Great. So what are some good rules of thumb if I happen to be going through an orchard uh, that's been there for a while? What are some things I could look for uh, that tell me there might be some signs uh, or trouble uh, with my trellis? Sure. Well, one of the first things that you want to look at, and this is the foundation of your trellis, deals with the soils. You really want to make sure that you're fixing the end of the post into the ground. What does that do? That puts all of our material to work. Right? And then we don't have to rely on the soil or the lack of soil for our structure. So that's really important, is to fix the base. Okay. And then another big picture question, uh, what do I do if I have a windy site? What are some real practical things I could do to modify? Or when I put in a new block, uh, what do I want to focus on on those first couple rows on the windward edge? Sure. So we're developing this model to help predict the force of wind against the side of a trellis. And we can use this model then to size our material, again with a fixed base, but to size our material for our span. And what that does is allow us to then adequately build a trellis. Some of the outside rows be really nice if they looked a little bit more stout than on the, the inside. But again, this all comes down into design and there is no one size fits all. Again, it all has to fit together for that specific site. Great information. Thanks for your time, Mark. Thanks, Paul. <laughs>